I don't even know you, and I'm so proud of you. It's three o'clock on a Thursday. We're drinking, and this is your job. Oh. <laughs> this is, is your job. That is true. That's crazy. I'll let you know I in a really secret. picked the wrong profession. I'm gonna drink some more after this. Drink some more. Today we're here with our guest, Eva Longoria, actor, actor, <laughs> producer, director, entrepreneur, mom. Mom. Overall, bougie, bougie wine. Bougie wine girl. Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last one, mom, leads me to drink, so that's... <laughs> Is that so? That's the one that leads me to <laughs> Is drink. Is that so? <laughs> no. Um, so today we're going to actually taste five different wines from five different price points, ranging from $5 all the way to $500. Okay, good. And today you're going to be tasked with guessing what each bottle was worth. Okay. You think you're up for that? Yeah. Okay. Can we start with the screw top? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> actually there's two. <laughs> Great. Yes, you are starting that, with the screw, screw top. top. Look at that there. Okay. Right. Oh, it's a white. A white wine there. Put it on my Look white. at this. So this is a true professional here. She's analyzing the wine, she's turning it over the side, looking Green at apple. the color. Yep. Green apple. So, wow, yep. Can I taste it now? Yeah, taste it, yeah, sure. Oh my God, that's like water. <laughs> Did you give me pear water? <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh because I don't want to get any wine on that beautiful white soup jacket you have. Uh, no, I didn't. Super fruity to me. Yeah, and, and, to your, and to your credit, you say, did I give you water? Uh, it is really light body. Super light uh -huh. body, yeah. Uh, so you are known as a multi-hyphenate, right? We listed all of these various titles and all of those things. Um, how do you do it all, right? Oh, it's, it's through wine, right? It's through, it's through wine? It's through drinking. <laughs> it's through drinking. <laughs> Got it. No, you know, you prioritize. Here's the thing. This is my philosophy in life, is you waste more time than you think. And so... People are, I don't have time, I don't have time. You do, you do. You just were on Instagram for an hour, I think. Correct. I think you can do something else for that hour. Life is so short, and so I just want to like maximize every minute of every day. I think you, you have to be diligent. Yeah. And I think pro procrastinators really don't put things on calendars. No, and I, right? I, I don't even know that word. No. <laughs> <laughs> like to me, that's right. But you know what, it comes from my mom. My mom, you know, was a special education teacher. She had four girls, one with special needs. My dad, she was a human taxi. I had band practice. My sister had cheerleading. Mm -hmm. da, 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 like, and all of this in a time where there was no cell phones, no, you know, and, and so I look at my life and I go, I'm not doing enough. Like, look what my mom did at this age. I'm, I don't think I'm doing enough. And she would have dinner on the table every night at six o'clock for my dad. Got like, it. every night. I feel the same way. I think being driven, you always feel like you can accomplish more, even yeah. though you've accomplished such great heights. Yeah. Um, acting, producing, directing. Yeah. What seems to be the most unique or the easiest for you? Um, I am a natural director and I enjoy it. I, just, I like telling people what to do. It was that or a lawyer, because I argue very well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. I can see that, I yeah. can see that. And I refuse to believe my greatest success is behind me. Correct. Do you know what I mean? Like when no, people absolutely. go, Oh my God, you run the number one show in the world. Like, it's like that, that was great, but like, that's not even the tip of the iceberg. I can't wait to see what I'm gonna do in the next five years. Got it. All right, so let's talk about this wine. We're gonna do a little so, unveiling a here. Little, a little reveal. Yeah, so this is the Rickshaw okay. Sauvignon Blanc yes. 2020. I knew it wasn't California. a Chardonnay. I knew that. So what are you thinking? How much? How much does this cost? Uh, yep. Ugh, it's a screw top, <laughs> it's a Sauvignon Blanc. $20? $20, okay. All right, you want to flip over the price tag there? Ten. Ten. Well, I was twenty was cheap to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that. This would be the table water, <laughs> and then we go into the wine. And then we move on. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna move in to our next wine. Okay. Hide that cork there. Okay, I, I can't <laughs> wrecking. I'm not good at this. I'm telling you. Let's see. You are good at it. You're good at the drinking well, part, which is like why you're Pino. here. This is a Pinot. Okay. Yeah, look at that color. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Definitely. Are we calling it right out of the back before you taste it, Pinot? I know, maybe not, because it looks like a Pinot that's acting like a cab. Yeah. So to me, it would just be seeing a little bit darker. Uh, you know, maybe it's a, a domestic Cabernet, but when I smell it. No, it's a Pinot. Pinot. Okay, we taste. 
earthy manure, hay. There's manure, there's hay. Uh, it is earthy. Um, this, smells, this smells wonderful. It smells really nice. So uh, you're from Corpus Christi? Corpus Christi, Texas. I was Miss Corpus Christi, 1998. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's what got me to Hollywood. Wow. Yeah. Really? In that prize package was a trip to LA. And that's how I got to leave Texas. I was like, oh, I've never been to California. So this thing of you being a go-getter, like that's yeah. always been instilled in you since you oh, were yeah. little. Oh yeah. You know, rumor has it that somehow like you stole your sister's yeah. ID card yeah. and ended up working at Wendy's. Yeah. And I wanted a quinceanera, which is a 15th birthday yeah, yeah, party. Absolutely, yeah. I'm the baby of four girls. And so none of, none of my sisters got a quinceanera. So my parents were like, you're not getting a quinceanera. They're, they're <laughs> as expensive as weddings. Yeah, I mean, no, that's absolutely. how I've big they are. So I snuck out and got a job at Wendy's to pay for my quinceanera. And I would lie to my mom at where I was after school. Wow. And I would come home smelling like grease. grease. <laughs> and a teacher came in and busted me. She's like, Eva, now what are you doing here? And I was like, shh, shh. <laughs> All right, what are you thinking about this wine? How do you feel about this? It's a Pinot. Okay, you're saying Pinot Noir. And um, I, I, it's probably, what, $19? Yeah, let's pull it out here. So this wine Wait, is called Trace Om. Is it from Valle de Guadalupe? It is. I knew it! <laughs> Most of the wine production that happens in Mexico happens in the Baja area. Yeah. So we're talking about Baja, which is that kind of little strip yeah. that goes further south of uh, California, has this really kind of great Mediterranean like climate, really great for like wine. This is Tariga Nacional, mm -hmm. which is a grape that you tr traditionally found in like Portugal, mm. that was like blending what you found in port. And I've been really impressed with this one. If okay. it's from Valle de Guadalupe, it's it, $29, I mean, you know, like, $30. Give it, a, give it a name. $30? $30. Okay, you wanna take a look at it? Oh, God. $35! Ah! All right, all right. I should have told you it was from Mexico before you opened the box. No, 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 but you're great. Before I saw that sombreros. <laughs> you're like, wait a minute, label. you're like, wait a minute. I was like, I bet you this one's from Valle de Guadalupe because they're not, they're, all of those are very low priced wines mm -hmm. still. Mm -hmm. And it's very hard, it's very, I have not, I'm you're not right. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. All right, next wine here. Oh God, this is old. Look at that, look at that. It's a true professional here. What makes, you, what makes you say that it's old? It's French. Um, it is brown. It's brown, okay. Is it, did you taste this? It's not I cork, is it. it? No, it's not cork. <laughs> Definitely went through it. It's uh, so brown. It is brown, so generally speaking, uh, as wine starts to age, red, red wine start to age, a lot of the pigment starts to fall out of the wine. So it's kind of this brickish brown. Oh, it smells amazing. This must be French. So I'd have to say my introduction to you was from one of your most popular roles. Yes. As Gabby on Desperate Housewives. Okay. Um, I think it was before the term uh, binge watching <laughs> that was, was yeah. put together. I remember buying episodes uh, on DVDs. Apple TV. Oh, on Apple. On Apple TV oh. to watch the show. It's it hard amazing. to binge Housewives because we did 24 episodes a season. Yeah. No, None trust of this me. six to eight bull yeah, that it was paying people are doing now. Per episode. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and it was three ninety nine yeah. per episode. You know, every network turned it down. It, Lifetime for so Women crazy. turned it down. They were like, yeah, we don't understand what that show is. Job. So how did life change after that? Yeah, it was crazy. I remember it was a global success. Like yeah. we launched in the United States, but then London was like, and we had to go do this European tour. We were coming from the airport and the, at the hotel, there's fans, I mean, all, all down the street, like we're driving and it was people, 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 people. And then as we got to the to the hotel, it was all these people. I was like, oh my God. I was like, who's here? <laughs> I was like, I, guys, I bet you Bono's here. <laughs> what, what other English person? <laughs> oh my God, there must be a huge star here. And I said, I asked the driver and I was like, hey, uh, who's here at our hotel? Mm -hmm. And he goes, you. And I was like, no, who, like, who's the big, big star? And he was like, y you guys, like, yeah, and I just couldn't, came here for you. I couldn't understand that. And yeah. I just didn't understand what the, what you the had big arrived. deal was. You yes, had arrived. I had arrived. <laughs> so do you like this one? Not really. Not really? Got I'm it? not a fan of so French. You think this is a French wine? Mm -hmm. So it's definitely old. It does have some, some bottle yeah, maturity no. to it. Maybe wrong. Um, I'm not a fan of it. This wine is called Moraga, and this is from Bel Air. Bel Air, uh, California? Bel Air, yes. 
and it's a Bordeaux style blend made in America. Um, it does have some bottle age to it, and it's 1993. That's the year I graduated high school. And so, what do you think? Like, um, price wise, what would you pay for? What's this bottle worth? Oh, don't ask me what I'd pay for this. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard of this wine. What's it worth? I didn't even know Bel Air had grapes. That's uh, what makes it really cool. $60? Okay. $60? $60. You want to you flip it over there? Price tag there? Oh, $125. $125. Okay. You know, this for me. <laughs> we'll, let the, we'll let the silence. Just gonna let that sit there. Yeah, we'll let that speak for itself. You know, every wine has its time and place. And and, and for, for a lot of people, this is old. Like, this yeah. is a, drinking old wine is a total different experience than drinking young totally. wine. Yeah. Um, but this was a fun representation fun. of that. Thank you for that experience. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. <laughs>、oh, <laughs> Ooh. Oh my God.、What、Super crisp. Yep. I get a little basil. It's just green. L- lemongrass. Green, green, green. Yeah, yep, totally. So you're a busy, busy person. Yep. Busy. And so you had a big、uh, directorial debut. I believe it was called Flaming Hot. Flaming Hot. Yes, it's not out yet. But I, I directed my first feature film. Okay. And it's、uh, the true story of Richard Montanez, who created the Flaming Hot Cheeto. What? The, and he created the spicy snack industry. Like a, out of Flaming Hot spawned 160 other products of like,、really? oh. And he's known as the godfather of Latino、uh, Hispanic marketing because he was one of the first people in the, in the 80s to say, you know, you should market differently to different cultures. Like, wow. But when he invented this uh, uh, idea, he was a janitor. He couldn't read or write when he got the job. Fascinating. At, Yeah, so he was the janitor at the factory. Yeah, and it's a billion dollar product today, Flaming Hot Cheetos. How's it different directing than acting? Like, does it come natural? Is it a different set of skills? Like,、yeah. do you. But no, but it's funny, it is a totally different skill set. I mean, I think it's a natural skill set that is conducive to women, actually, because it's, you have to be a multitasker, you have to be a decision maker, you have to be a problem solver,、okay. all at the same time. And women do that on a daily basis in our homes. Like, <laughs> no, doing this,、no. uh, putting out fires, you know, just innovating and getting creative and, you know, solving shit at home. And I'm always surprised that there, people don't hire more female directors because they're just natural directors in their lives. All right, so let's talk about tequila. This、okay. is. You have a tequila brand? Yes, my tequila brand's called Casa del Sol. It is a premium sipping tequila that、um, really honors the art of tequila making in the region.、Um, our distillery is 100% Mexican owned, which I was like, yeah, of course it is. It's in Mexico. And they're like, no, 90% yeah, of distilleries are not owned by Mexicans, which means a lot of them don't honor the old system of how to make tequila. And It's not, our tequila is not for women, but we have a lot of women in key positions in a very male dominated industry.、Got、our、it. master distiller is a woman. Our、uh, CEO of the distillery is a woman. Our VP of operations is a woman. Our president is a woman. And that's really、um, unheard of in the tequila it industry. It is. It is.、Um, and tequila is one of the number one spirits drank by women. And if you look at the market right now, every tequila ad is like, my man on a motorcycle, <laughs> you know, a man、yeah. on a Bronco.、Yeah. And you're like, no, women really love tequila. And I think, you know, the market is ready for premium tequila that you can sip like an old fashioned or you can put in a drink that doesn't hide it. it long finish, super smooth, no hair on your chest, gasoline、okay. tequila. You want to be able to enjoy it、yeah. uh, in, its, in its state that it was supposed to be、yeah. presented in. And that's it, how it should be aged. It should be aged to be enjoyed as a standalone、yeah. product. Yeah. Speaking of standalone products,、oh, how are、um, we feeling about this one? I, it needs to be colder.、Um, super crisp. I like it. I mean, I like it. It's easy. All right. So this is from Australia. Oh. This is Simeon. This is called Broken Wood. Okay.、Um, I mean, it's super light and easy. I don't think this is that expensive. It can't be that expensive. w e going to give it a stab? 
I'm gonna say twenty twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars. You want to turn it over? I'm doing prices right stuff. All right, let's do it. Ah, nineteen. Nineteen. There we go. There we go. Nineteen. Nineteen. Oh, I was gonna say twenty, <laughs> but I decided 21? to do twenty one in case you got a little fancy on me. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the next one here. Okay. Awesome. So excited, excited? because this is gonna be, yeah. Look at that, what do you think? Look at that color. Okay. Um, it's leather. Yeah, so much leather. So there's cedar, yeah. there's tobacco. A little bit of tobacco. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, a lot of tannins. When it has a lot of tannins, what does that mean? For me, it sucks out all the moisture in my mouth. Think yeah, about yeah, like yeah. Having, enjoying black tea. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The sides of my cheeks have kind of dried out. Yeah. That means it's like big tannin. So that comes from the grape. That can also come from the way that it's being aged. Like if it's in you know, a whole bunch of new oak. Oh, super also, oaky. Yeah, so it's like wood tannin. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So there's some wood to it. A lot um, of oak. So you said you were a foodie. I'm a big foodie. Um, I'm a big cook. I cook a lot, yeah. You do? I'm a great cook. What's your go-to dish? I love to cook everything. I would probably say Mexican food is my go-to because everybody in my life it loves it, you know, Got it. and so I'm like, okay, this is, I'm gonna. So it's safe to say comfort food is, it's, yeah, is Mexican. Tacos, Mexican, yeah. chalupas, tostadas, it feels like home, enchiladas, like, yeah. yep. salsa. My mom worked and so I remember telling my mom, I'm hungry and she goes, we'll make something. <laughs> and I remember pushing a chair up to the stove. That's how small I was. Yeah. And lighting the stove where you had to actually turn on the gas and light a match yeah. and it going poof. Like. We, still, we still have that at our house, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And making an egg. And and I, I remember like start with eggs. shell and everything was <laughs> in there. But the accomplishment was something I couldn't even describe. I was like, I did that. It okay. was this and now it's this. So I love that idea of like taking all these ingredients and then it's something else. Like you're like, and then voila. How are you feeling about this wine? That's what I like. I really like. I like it. So you just Even ask, though it's older, it is older. Um, it doesn't have those characteristics of an old wine. Like it doesn't taste vinegary yet. Correct. So we're gonna right. unveil this, and you tell me what you think here. Oh, so this is this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that you would know when I pulled out. Oh, this, this is Vegas Sicilia. This is Unico, 2011 from Roberto de Duero in Spain, Ribera considered the king yeah. of Spanish oh. wines. Um, it's Tempranillo, about 80% yeah. Tempranillo, and then they blend a little bit of Cabernet uh, Sauvignon yeah. in it. Um, 2011. And um, I just thought this was just like a really great wine. I felt like- It's my favorite like region this, of Spain. Good, awesome. Favorite and region. you've had this wine before. A thousand times. This is my I husband's direct. favorite wine. Amazing. And uh, it's a it's our go-to. This is our table wine. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, <laughs> I'm a bougie I bitch. knew it, I knew it. We drink this daily. All right, so mm. I dare to ask, uh, how much do you think this is? Well, this is Unico. Worth? This is Unico. 500. What? 500. Reveal. 510! 510! <laughs> 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 oh my God. I'm so good. I must be the best guest you've ever this had. This is the last episode. <laughs> like you skilled it. We got it. a that mic amazing. drop. You have, that I was have to, where's the mic? I'm going to mic drop it for you guys. That, that was the mic drop. I'm going to have was another amazing. splash. Yeah, you should. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. You're done good, Andre. Thank you. you who told you? I just knew. Instinctively, <laughs> I just knew. This is it. Why are you I'm, wasting my time with these <laughs> whites? It's my show now, Andre. Yeah, yeah, I, I see that. I see that. I've lost. Um, wait, so I hear you have bonus rounds. We do have a bonus round. I'd like to pour you one of your favorites. One of my favorite? I'm going to tell you my favorite. I'm going to give you my What's favorite that? tequila. What? We're going to switch it up on the grapevine. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, this is our reposado. Do you know how to drink tequila? I do know how to drink tequila. When you drink tequila, you have to take a deep breath. Take it in. When you drink, you blow it out. You're blowing out the acetone. Through your nose or through your mouth? Through your mouth. Okay. Yeah. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go there okay. with you. Yeah, I'm ready. Walk me through it. Well, first, when you take a deep breath, you gotta look at the person you're sharing it with. Okay. Okay, so right. you take a deep breath. Got it. Look at that, how smooth that is. This is amazing. Um, I'm gonna take these. Yeah, this is for uh, you. When I, when I go home. These are for you. You sure you don't want a little bit? You good? We're gonna move no, on to okay. our, our, okay. our kind of lightning round that we like to call uh, this or that. Oh my God, I'm okay. Okay, this or that. This or that. You, you can get with this. Or, or you, you can, can get, get with, with that. that. Okay, I mean, I got this. All right, clothes or shoes? Shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, apple box or director's chair? 
director's chair. Margarita or Paloma? Paloma. Radish, no radish in the guacamole. No, no. <laughs> Why I'm is sorry. that in your question? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mole or verde? Verde. I have it every morning. I make it. I make jars of it. My husband really? goes through it like water. I make a tomatilla salsa three times a week. New York City or L.A.? L.A. What about that? Are you in New York? I live in New York. What? L.A. or Paris? Mexico oh. City. Mexico City or Paris? Don't throw Let's Paris in the mix. There you go. Paris. 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 Rice or bread? Rice. Rice. Yeah. All right. White or red? I think the best white wine is red. Okay. We're going to say red? <laughs> red. Blanco or Añejo? It's a horrible it's question. It's a horrible question. You know what? This is not my show anymore. It's your show. <laughs> we're going to give it to you. Where are the questions? <laughs> and Where? we're done. Salud. Salud. Oh, yeah. no, I don't want to leave this guy. <laughs> <laughs> we can get a sippy cup. <laughs> give me a roadie. Cup. Yeah, yeah, there give you go. Give me a roadie. <laughs> you don't know how many times I've used my son's sippy cup to put wine, <laughs> wine to go. Yeah.